Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. The date is the 9th of June, and I think I've officially gone insane. I've spaded what feels like my 20th Magak, and we are finally done with... Well, no we're not actually, because they're gonna add another Magak next update. I'm Magaked out, I'm done with it. I've... <laughs> I've spaded pretty much all of them. But that's not what this video is about. Maybe a later video will be about that, where I basically just say Magak, Magak, Magak attack, mag whatever. Um, basically just over and over and over again, since my mind is now jelly. The thing to talk about is where's the update? And we actually did this last update as well, showing that there is an impatience which is growing when it comes to some of the community. And that's completely fine. You know, when you have a gravy train of content pretty much every few months, there's always going to be a lot of people who are like, where's the next thing? Where's the next thing? And uh, since, you know, we haven't had anything since Victory Day, and, uh, you know, a few other games have started doing stuff. Obviously, the Summer Games Fest is going on right now, which we're streaming on Twitch, so if you want to check it out, make sure to do so. But when it comes to War Thunder... It's been a bit lights off, you know, they've been doing a few things in the background, they've been doing a few little events here and there, like the holidays events, uh, there's one which was just released today, but mostly, there's not really been a ton going on. And I just wanted to do something that we did last time, and go through why this could be, and also, first of all, just line it up with dates, as always, uh, because I think that's generally important. So, one of the things um, is that each update falls in between kind of a range of dates. And uh, this, um, right now, this update is still between the standard range of dates that we've seen in previous years. So, if you have a look at Danger Zone, which was last year, this update, um, where they added the F-14 and completely broke the high-tier meta, that released on the 15th of June. So remember, today is the 9th of June, so we still have six days before that. Red Skies, which was the one previously before this, the 2nd of June uh, was when it came in, so just before. And then we have Starfighters, which was the 26th of May, so we have kind of a three-week period here where um, it could be put in. Then Imperial Navy was the 29th of May which is kind of crazy, um, once again before the period, showing why people are maybe a little bit antsy. But then you look at Project X from 2018, and guess what? 12th of June. So once again, in that weird three-week range period. Regero Nortska, 25th of May, and then the Flaming Arrows one from 2016, the 9th of June. So you can see uh, overall... Uh, if you have a look at previous years, you could even have a look at Cold Steel if you want to go back that far from 2015, and that was the 30th of June, but that was also a different time period and how they did things. So you can see that there's like this three-week period where they release stuff, and we're still in that three-week period. There are two updates of the last like four years which actually happened after this date. So the the idea of, you know, people being a bit antsy, all I can say is just, you know, simmer down, you know, have some water and uh, just kind of relax. And if you are bored, you know, when it comes to War Thunder, there's a ton of different games which are, you know, on offer or going around right now. Whether it's if you get the free games from Epic Games, I think Payday 2 is on there right now. Whether you go to like Fanatical, um, you know, the website and have a look at some of the bundles where there's like a bunch of games just literally for a dollar. Uh, and then also a Humble Bundle as well. Like all of these exist uh, to kind of, uh, I suppose, uh, quench your thirst. Uh, when it comes to just playing some video games and having a bit of fun. Am I looking forward to the next update for War Thunder? Yeah, there's a ton of really cool stuff. Like, uh, the, there's a ton of things which I'm personally looking forward to. There's like 35 or, you know, 36 new uh, standard tech tree vehicles. There's hardly any premiums that they're bringing out. And a lot of them are like low-tier, mid-tier stuff, which looks pretty fun. The aviation, pretty much all of it is high or top tier. So, you know, it, it's kind of up and down but they're trying to actually expand rank 8 because, you know, they've got to justify selling those rank 7 premiums somehow. Um, and for ground, they're just throwing stuff in everywhere, which is really cool because it'll mean there's a ton of variation in the general matchmaking that you'll get. Navy as well, you got the French, and who doesn't love the French Navy? Or, well, most people 
don't seem to care about it, but at least, you know, it, it exists and, you know, improves parity, which is one of my general key things. But I think the reason why people are antsy about the update is pretty much the dev cycle this time. The dev cycle was all over the place. We had three, technically four different dev servers, which is not something we've ever had. If you have a look at the dev server data mines, which I haven't touched yet, I mean, I've, I've looked through them, but I wanted to just wait and see how many data mines there were going to be. And it turns out there's pages upon pages upon pages of them. Um, so, you know, I'm going to have to sit down probably tomorrow and do like a two hour video, uh, going through them all. And then, uh, also, you know, you had the fact that the M1 KVT came out a few weeks before each of the other dead blogs. And the reason it came out before the other dead blogs is because they wanted to get it out before the sales happened. So therefore, um, they would be able to sell it. Uh, because if it came afterwards, maybe people didn't have money for it. Welcome to marketing. So, and then you obviously had all the economy stuff going on, so they've said that they're going to, you know, release a roadmap of that, and maybe they're waiting to release this update at the same time as the roadmap, basically to, uh, once again, um, you know, get people playing the game, but also maybe to either hide the roadmap or maybe to promote it, depending on how they word it and how they push it forward. Because, uh, obviously, you can use stuff like that to obfuscate what's going on, or you can use it in the other way, uh, which is to kind of promote it and say, hey, come and look at this, come and vote on this. You obviously had some of the traction changes. Uh, also, some the, the, the other thing to also mention, this update's huge. And it, it's not just huge from a vehicle point of view, you know, there's only like 40 vehicles which are being added, which I know I say only, but when you look at some updates, some updates had over 100, um, especially when China got added. But one of the things that is huge is they are massively changing a lot of mechanics and how they actually work. Think about how all of the missile mechanics that they're bringing in, you know, you have the new physics, line of sight, uh, guidance missiles, you have all of the the new effects that they're bringing in, a ton of graphical effects, uh, and then also at the same time, they just released another dev blog today, um, talking about the fair play thing, basically between, you know, air vehicles and also, um, and also ground vehicles. So you have all of these different, like, setups and how it's all going to work, and it's all completely confusing, and, you know, it takes a lot of explanation, but imagine not just explanation, but actually co Coding the damn stuff and making sure it all works. There's so many different moving parts in this update, it is kind of crazy. So for me, when I see stuff like that, it's not really a surprise uh, that, you know, this update is probably taking a little bit longer uh, than it is. Even though if you look at the stats, it technically isn't. <laughs> it's just the simple fact that we have got so used to things just being banged, 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 that, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's not here yet. What I would say is, as always, just be patient. There's plenty of stuff to play in War Thunder. I don't think there's anybody who's ground out everything. And if you're looking forward to a new vehicle, unless you die, it's probably going to be there next week. And, you know, I wouldn't worry about that at the end of the day. If you're worried about that, then obviously there are graver concerns that go on. And also at the same time, if, you know, if you're still waiting for the new updates and you're not doing the battle pass or not worried about anything like that, there's a ton of other events or a ton of other games which have got a bunch of stuff going on. You know, Enlisted has an event going on right now. And then also at the same time, you've got the Summer Games Fest, as I talked about, so you can have a look at some new games. Um, two of the games which we saw yesterday, which looked really interesting, um, just from it, was a game called Viewfinder, where basically you take pictures of a world and and then you can fit those pictures into the current world, making physical models, meaning that you can take a picture of a bridge and then move the bridge in a, in a different place and then move around, which is kind of cool. And then Mars First Logistics, which uh, has a demo out right now, which is basically a simulator where you build a robot to be able to transport certain things to different areas, which just sounds super fun. Basically, you know, Lego, Lego or something similar to that on Mars to be able to transport stuff. If you're a fan of things like Kerbal Space Program or whatever, oh my god, wouldn't it just be fantastic? It would be lovely to play. But yeah, there's a ton of different things out there, you know? Just 
Remember, the world is wide and there's many different things to enjoy. So please, for the love of God, just go and enjoy them. Have fun, you know. Go hug, I don't know, a baby or something. Just, <laughs> just do something to relax and not worry about the next major update. It'll be here no matter what happens. It's not as if Gajin's going to fold overnight or anything like that. So just relax, have a cigar, chill, and... Wait for next week. As always, I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time. I'd just like to thank Millie Draper, Juan the Panda, Nick R. Kupila, Carrion Crow, Gus Irenicus, Pyman, Merciless Reaper, Orange Tail, Teddy, Daniel Stanton, Moxie B. Young, Peter Grayling, Jerry Provolt, Bereen, Alan Hacker, Sem Arslan, Uncle Bean, Derek R. and Lafouche for supporting the channel.